So in my last video, I talked about how to get balance from an Ethereum node using get balance method in Web3.js. Hi, my name is Adi Jumadipsayo. I'm a Web3.js ambassador and I'm a software engineer. Today, I'm here to discuss the get account method and how you can use it to retrieve account from Ganesh, a free and open local Ethereum node. So let's dive into the world of decentralized application and see how Web3 can empower your blockchain development. Hi, so today we'll be talking about the method get account. If you follow me during the last lesson, where we get balance, you should have something like this on your computer or better still, you can get the link on the previous video and get over it again. So we run our server and we're able to get account from the Etherscan, which is a blockchain explorer. Now today, we will be getting accounts. I'm going to copy this from, for ease and get account. Account. Okay, instead of this, will be will not be converting and we'll just have account and the method is get account with no no parameter just the call um, I have to change this to get account okay Coming kissing. Account. Great. We don't need the address. There's no params. Great. MP uh, node. Turn the industrious JS file. A local server is running on port three, 307. Okay. Okay. Slash account. And we can see that we have an array with an empty array. When we are connecting to an Ethereum node, via inferior for this we're connecting via inferior or another public rpc provider we won't have access to any accounts because their services are designed to provide read only access to the blockchain they don't manage private keys or accounts which is why we are getting an empty array when we call the web3 act get account what is the solution for us about this get account is either you are connecting to the browser using metamax you can get your account or you use ganesh i have ganesh already running on my system but if you want to install it you can just go to your browser and install Ganesh CLI. This is the CLI. There are videos that you can check, and you can always have the Ganache download. You can download it or just simply download Ganache. That was what I did, and it brought me to this page. And you can either download for Mac OS, which I did, or you can download for Windows. So this is Ganache and Ganache CLI, which I'll be using the CLI. 
It is fast and customizable blockchain emulator. Ghana CLI is the latest version of Test RPC, a powerful tool for Ethereum developers. It emulates a blockchain that allows instant transaction without running an actual Ethereum node. It's ideal for rapid development and testing of smart contracts and dApps. The key features of this is that instant transaction, there's no wasting of time. It's zero transaction cost. We test without any gas fee. It is customizable and it is always running on an RPC local server. So if you're just also getting started with learning blockchain, perhaps this is your first time and you don't have connection to a public RPC, you can always use the local RPC, which is Ganache. As you can see, what I have here is on this RPC 7545. And these are the dummy accounts that are available there. These basically are just accounts that are there. They have their 100 Ethereum that I can test with. That means I can perform a retransaction even with this. And I can get to know how to use the Web3.js, get familiar with the method on this free platform. So I'm using Ganache because Inferior or other public RPC will not allow us to get account access Okay, I will have some resources linked to this video. And these are medium accounts that medium blog from just um, uh, just acknowledging the author of this, Jasper Sanchez. And he wrote how to use Ganache and Ganache CLI. And this is it. Also, if you're getting started, this is another resource that you can use. And you can always do a global install and you can rush the Ganesh CLI. So we can use this Web3 Get account. Getting over to the code, I'm going to connect to the Ganesh local port. Okay, I'm going to have this comment. Connect to Ganache. And the way to connect to that is through HTTP, but because it's local, we, we are not having a secure HTTPS. And I'll be connecting to local hosts. I'm actually supposed to copy this. But unlike what we see here, let me see if I can copy this. Should be able to wait. Okay. Over two zero running on IPv six. This is a symbol of IPv6. If you're quite unfamiliar with that, you can check for that online. And it is actually the latest version. Ganache Web3, just to change the naming. And as you can see, I'm running on this port. I'll split the screen to run on this port. Do MPX. Ganache CLI because I don't have it locally yet. But if you are going to be working with it constantly, it's better you just have it globally installed. But this is just a demo for demo purposes. And I may actually have need of it in the future, but for now, I just start the port locally. Okay, I guess we are getting an error. Okay, it's already in use. Let's use another one. Let's use it. 
we can use any address this is i can change this to eight okay in case you have such an hero so we have the available dummy accounts that we can use here we have the private key of the accounts and the gas fee already though it does not really take a gas fee but we have something gas limit called gas limit these are basic ethereum network terms and i've shared a glossary that deals with web3 ethereum mini that you can always go back and check if you're unfamiliar with any words okay instead of using the normal if we are connection i'm going to use this get account not get accounting way wait mm. Start the server again because you know of the changes. And if we go back to the port and refresh this, we can see that we have our accounts. That's how we use the get accounts method. If you're more of a front end, I will recommend videos that have been on the youtube channel of chain save about how to connect meta max with your front end and you can also use the get account method there on so yes that is how to use the method get account with ganache thank you so i thought to show us how to get the balance from these accounts we can always get the balance from this account. So I'm going to go ahead. Accounts with balance. Wait. I promise to us that we can get a faster and um, a return promise from those accounts independently. We map to the account. There's an asynchronous call, of course. We have accounts here. We give this to get balance. Await. Nash with the Web3 connection, the Ethereum. Act and get the balance of these accounts. So we return Okay, we have a response that is sending this so we can we can return so we can just send the accounts with balance at an account but let's return let's return the object the account and the balance so we can go ahead and return this And if I start my connection again, copy this. So I have to change the balance from win to win, from win to actor rather. Like we did here, we change from win to actor. Likewise, I have to use that, which is to change from win to actor. And if I run this index, you can see that our port is getting balance. First, we get the account, now we're getting balance. And if I go to slash account, you can see for each account, we have the balance of 
100 x 100 x 100 x and if you want to check that in your ganache this is coming up again okay we have 100 x 100 x for all the accounts My joy from this video is that you've been able to learn get account method and you can also interact well with the Ganache CLI. Till I come away again next time, keep interacting with the Web3.js library. Follow us on Twitter at Web3.js and don't forget to also subscribe to our Discord community for the latest updates. See you next time.